Hey guys, Micah here with Talk to California. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're gonna to discuss what you need to bring to a tactical handgun class. If you want a Tack to California t-shirt, head on over to eqfreedom.com, linked below. And if you want to come train with us, please head on over to our website, tacticalifornia.net, again, linked below. So we've gotten a lot of people signed up for Tactical Handgun 1 and 2. It's a full eight hour course. Here's exactly what you need to bring to the class. You can bring more. Understand that if you bring less, you might be giving yourself a disadvantage, but it's entirely up to you. Number one thing you should bring to a tactical handgun class, a handgun. It doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to have a red dot or a light or anything like that. It can be a standard, whatever you got, bring it type semi-automatic handgun. Tactical handgun does not cater well to revolvers. Understand that immediately. Um, you will be far better and gain far more out of the class if you bring a semi-automatic handgun. So literally sky's the limit. Number two thing you should bring, a holster. Does not need to be inside the waistband, does not need to be outside the waistband. However you carry a gun or think you might have a gun on you to defend yourself in a life-threatening situation, that's how I would recommend you carry at the class. So for me, I have a CCW, I carry with this rig all the time. Uh, when I go and take classes, and I've taken a lot of classes from a lot of different instructors, I go concealed carry, even though it might be an intermediate uh, or advanced um, just handgun class, and everyone else is running outside the waistband. For me, this makes more sense. I might find myself with this more often than anything else. If you don't have a CCW, that's fine. Bring an outside the waistband holster or whatever you think you might have on you in a without rule of law or zombie apocalypse or whatever it is you want to bring, just understand what you have is what you have. Number three on the list of things to bring to a tactical handgun class, spare magazines. Again, nothing fancy, bring something that works. Uh, we're going to be running in 10 round intervals, so if you own high capacity magazines legally, they're not going to do you much advantage in my class because we're running in 10 round intervals. So I know that sucks, but it is what it is. You will need three magazines total, one handgun, one holster, and three magazines to attend my class. This is because we will be working on reloads and you need another magazine, a backup, just in case something goes wrong. So that's three total, that gets you covered. Number four, Spare magazine carriers. Uh, if you have a holster like this, awesome. But if you don't, a separate magazine carrier it needs to be on the belt line. I don't want people fishing into their pockets and stuff like that, unless that's how you carry. Although I highly recommend you don't carry like that. Um, but we'll get into that more in the class. Please bring uh, two spare magazine carriers if you can. So you have one in the gun, one spare magazine on your belt line, and another spare magazine on the belt line. It'll go a lot smoother for us. If you have just one carrier and you can't get a third carrier, that's fine. Uh, we're probably not going to be running that third magazine uh in succession as much. So it's kind of there just to be a redundancy, a backup, and also to have another magazine loaded so we can do more iterations downrange before we have to make the range cold and go back and reload at the loading table. So one spare magazine carrier, if not two. Number five on the list of things to bring for tactical handgun class, eyes and ears. This should be painfully obvious, but protect your eyeballs, protect your ears. You're going to have to do this. I'm, I'm not accepting anyone who doesn't have eyes and ears. It's just ridiculous. Protect your eyes because there will be stuff flying around. Protect your ears because guns are loud. That's pretty self-explanatory. I do recommend you get a set of electronic hearing protection. That way you can hear instruction better and get more value out of the class. These are electronic. They have microphones on the outside. I turn them on. It protects my hearing, but allows me to hear any ambient sounds underneath a certain decibel, which which is awesome. So I highly recommend getting electronic hearing protection for the class if you don't have it. Number six on the list of stuff to bring, ammunition. How much ammunition do you need for a tactical handgun one and two eight hour course, which is what you're all taking? Uh, you need 500 rounds of your handgun ammunition. You can bring more, I'm fine with that, but you need a minimum of 500 rounds of ammunition for your handgun because we will be shooting that much in the class. You also need to bring clothes you don't mind getting dirty. We will be pretty much rolling around in the dirt at some points. Uh, you're gonna get dirty. It's just a reality of taking a handgun class. So bring clothes you don't mind getting dirty. I have seen classes where girls showed up in heels. No, I'm not kidding. I really saw that. I've also seen dudes show up in like, you know, 
$200 cry pants, and then they're complaining that they have to take a seated position in the dirt. So I've seen everything. Guys, if you're gonna be rolling around in the dirt, bring clothes you're comfortable getting dirty. There are parts of the range that are slightly uneven. There's gonna be a lot of shells lying all over the place. So, you know, good tennis shoes or a boot, you know, that's not required, but it's definitely helpful for you. And the last and final thing you need to bring to my class, if you're coming to Tactical Handgun 1 and 2 at Angela's Shooting Ranges, you need to bring food. There is nowhere to eat lunch around that I'm aware of that's anywhere within a reasonable distance for you to drive. Uh, and then beyond that, there's no food services at this range. What that means is when we take a break around noon, you're going to be hungry. Bring food to eat. Bring a lunch to eat. Uh, you know, it could be a sandwich. I don't care what it is. Just bring food to eat because there will not be food provided. So to recap, you need a handgun. You need two spare magazines, you need a holster, you need magazine carriers, you need electronic hearing protection preferred, but at least hearing protection of some kind, eye protection, 500 rounds of ammunition, clothes you don't mind getting dirty, and tennis shoes preferably, or boots or whatever you have, and food to eat at lunchtime. I will provide cold water for everybody, but I will not have food. So that's what you need to bring to a tactical handgun one and two class. Can't wait to see you all there. Can't wait to uh, get this off the ground. It's gonna be a ton of fun. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to this channel for more gear reviews, training, and gun news. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram linked below and our website, tacticalifornia.net linked below where you can sign up for training. Head on over to patreon.com slash tacticalifornia. If you feel like you want to support the channel over there, you'll gain access to monthly giveaways, uh, exclusive content, and more over there. Also, we are a brand ambassador with opticsplanet.com. So use the discount code TCA5 for 5% off your entire order over at opticsplanet.com. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.